Alright, this is gonna be an exciting set. Right here we've got Sonic Fiend versus Josh Thin. Okay, the Wi Fi pack. We like the Wi Fi. Okay, we got um, Robin Sonic. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if we have a gas Josh Thin. I've seen the name. Is Josh Thin from New York? Uh, Josh Thin? Josh Thin is PA, I think. Okay, yeah, I was about to say that. But I thought that was like a game name. Yeah, I, I met Josh the personally. Okay, okay. okay. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. Really good. And right now, Josh, I think Josh, well, something just happened. Um, something just clinked with uh, Rob Sidby, and I've never seen that move move anything. <laughs> or clink with anything. So. <laughs> I, need, I need some answers from the question to answer. Sonic is just the character. Of... He's just the character, man. He's just like the perfect Wi Fi pool of characters. If he has a move that clanks, it's just there. DI? And he got the DI. Okay, good stuff. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You literally did probably the hardest part of the friendship and then you just <laughs> go to your people. <laughs> go, go back. Oh wow, okay. Um well Yeah, well Josh didn't take him at first knock by any means necessary. Uh, yeah, so it's so unfortunate and it can be really, really difficult for Sonic as well. To come back from that deficit because now you have to always be on the defense, and obviously Sonic being a lighter character, you know, does not want to have their opponent at max rate. So right here, up air, yeah. Oh, I think it's the other time. And um, I will say that um, Sonic Fiend is an, uh, is a more aggressive Sonic. Oh wow, yeah, it's like just like that. Um, Sonic Fiend is a more aggressive Sonic, so you're not gonna see him like on the other side of the stage. You know, just camping, and spin dash, or. Holding, holding, um, homing attack or something like that, right? Not one of those Sonics. You're probably gonna get a lot of chances to hit him. Um, he's gonna interact with you a lot. <laughs> so. And yeah, Josh, like Josh is coverage wedge. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, yeah, Josh is covering a lot of these options. Yeah, Josh is covering I'm having a little bit of trouble with the gyro over there. Okay, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic been going for that um, jump read with the back air. Especially something you need to go for off stage at a deficit like this. So. Ooh, that was a nice catch. The gyro. Alright, I'm gonna air that. Get out of that situation. Yeah, and you know what? That was actually kind of smart on Sonic Beam. Right, because you run the risk in that situation of grabbing and whipping, even though that is unsafe. Where a lot of people probably would, because um, you could probably could have got killed for that spot dodge into imagination for um, Josh again. Nice catch. Yeah. Look at look at that. That was like that was like pretty good DI also. Yeah. You, got, you, actually got, you actually got two out of the three up airs you got hit with, um, with good DI. Yeah, yeah so it's a good time to be. This is, this is crazy DI. And then, God bless. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, that was really good. The downhill to then just, yeah. <laughs> Um, so you think we're gonna get a change of scenery for, uh, game two? Uh, perhaps. I'm also curious to know if Sonic Fiend is gonna pull out the Steve, potentially. Uh, cause I know Sonic Fiend has a Steve as well. Does he? Um, he does. Yeah. Oh, why haven't we banned him in chat yet? I feel like we should have banned him in chat a long time ago. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta purge the Steves. Alright, no, no Steve tonight. He doesn't need to be banned tonight. I just banned Sonic. Fun. Okay. 
Um, we're going to... Three, two, three. One, go. I respect it. Yeah, one, one thing Sonic can actually do really well is um, punish Rob's laser. So, a lot of Rob's in round start, they'll do something like Gyro, laser, right? That's kind of a flow chart that most of the Rob's do. But Sonic is one of those few characters that can literally just fly across the stage and punish you. Almost on reaction. Or reading the floor try, I should say. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And it's... <laughs> there's, there's like an appeal to that side. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't have to deal with this specific matchup because I can just stick to my flow chart. But there's also the con of like, oh, now I'm going to play this linear style and figure it out. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Kind of the difficult aspect of that. Yeah, and I I do think that um, Rob does well against Sonic because of this projectile, right? But um, sure. it is bad to kind of pull a target sometimes. And with that being said, you pull a target with nothing that way. So this stage is, I would say, pretty good for Sonic when it's in this form, because now you have the side platform to do a lot of crazy stuff, like uh, spin dash, to run off fair really early on the blast zones like he did right there. Uh, oh. Mm. Sir, this is not a one dude. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> Just, ooh, okay. I'm just yeah, was, was, now it's kinda of unfortunate because um we all yeah, you know we saw Sonic can go for the forward air with and the immediate punish. I, I think at this point Jonathan is just gonna have some fun here. We're gonna see a lot of down tilts, probably a lot of grabs, tumbles into. I, I do, re I do respect that coming out from Sonic Pain, just like going for it, because um, you know we need to, we need to go for everything right now. So, yeah, good air dodge. Um, I was gonna get that back. Uh, up the air dodge, yeah. Oh, and then Nair didn't hit Rob. Oh God, oh, this is, that's unfortunate. Get up attack. The get up attack works. Um, get to yeah. go up the top though. Oh, and he missed the spring. I know he didn't mean to do that. He went to hit the spring again. Every time Sonic he wants to go off stage, it's just gyro, 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 and the nair. That's. Uh. You know, I, I I'll be honest with you. I feel like after that second stock where the forward air worked, because he already was down by a lot, right? But I, yes. I do feel like if he got that forwarder in that situation and killed Josh, then he probably, he maybe could have gotten momentum in his favor going into the next stock, but that whiff was, that was so unfortunate. Yeah. You know, a little stuff like that can just like turn momentum in the game, or potential momentum in the game. But is it tough for Josh or no? 